the biggest takeaway from being an investment advisor when it comes to regulation and when it comes to the Investment Advisors Act and the subsequent court uh, cases that followed in interpreting the Investment Advisors Act in 1940 is the idea of a fiduciary obligation. The Supreme Court found that under the Investment Advisors Act, there was the creation of what is called a fiduciary obligation between the investment advisor and their clients. What this means is that the investment advisor is to put the interests of the client ahead of themselves. There's really two different types of fiduciary obligations that the Securities and Exchange Commission and other regulators have found under that umbrella of fiduciary obligations. You have the duty of care and then you have the duty of loyalty. 